Bob Larson, Elson Boo, Ryan Harst, Jarvis Trotter, and Master Sergeant Terrence Murphy. All right, now watch this as the four smoke systems show the team getting together. They're going to get that big patch of blue, and after they get together, they separate, and this is dedicated to all branches of the military. This is the Wings of Blue salute to our men and women in uniform, their bombers, in free fall, 120 miles an hour. Now they separate and make their way around the area. And again, with the knowledge of the winds aloft, the winds at 2,000 feet from that streamer drop, and the winds from the banner on the ground, and the information that has been relayed up to the pilot about the ground wind and velocity, wind direction and velocity, they will now make their way in and track in directly into the wind towards that target area. It's pretty amazing that they can get so close. And his uncle Shane are in the crowd today. The jumpers are away. And Rachel Sykes from Mount Airy, Maryland, 365 jumps, a pilot in the Air Force. Her fighter pilot dad, they call him Psycho, and her mother, Renee, are in the audience today. Rob, take it away. We'll pick up with the other team members in just a moment. Very good, Danny Clisham. Look, Skyward, ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't seen them yet, they're trailing red smoke. Two of them got out and free fell, reaching speeds of 120 miles per hour, and under canopy, one open very very high and it's Hyundai enjoy the show Heidelberg distributing company is proud to be a sponsor of our air show Heidelberg of Dayton is one of Ohio's largest wholesalers representing the finest suppliers of premium and imported beers wine and non-alcoholic beverages they salute this target Rob, we'd like to acknowledge the pilots who are flying the Twin Otter in both performances today. It is the de Havilland UV-188 Twin Otter, one of three used by the teams at the Air Force Academy, piloted by Lieutenant Colonel Mike Jacobson and Captain Nathan Boone. Now watch as they steer, putting on the brakes, using both of those steering lines. Watch the both arms come down, and a stand-up landing right on the target area. Now, coming down, flying like they would at an airport with a downwind leg, then turning 90 degrees toward the target, and then final approach into the wind, where more wind coming in front of you gives better capability for slow speed handling. To turn left, the jumper turn pulls on the left steering line. To turn right, the jumper pulls on the right steering line. And as they get close to the ground, to get the safest and softest possible landing, they'll pull down both lines simultaneously, putting on the brakes from over 5,000 feet above the ground, a zero, zero, perfect score landing. Now, look at the hang time. One of the reasons. From there, it gets very serene and quiet. And, and, and as you get close to the ground, you can hear car radios, you can hear conversation. If you're over a farm, you can literally hear the farm animals. You can, that's right. And uh, happened to have done it at Oshkosh while the anthem was being sung live and in person. And I could hear the anthem very clearly right to the point of touchdown. Indeed, Sam Larson on target now for an on-target landing right on track. Watch him pull uh, those risers as he gets in there. Sam Larson's from Davenport, Iowa. Coming in next on final approach in order in line is Ryan Haas from Crescent Springs, Kentucky, right across the river from Cincinnati and right next to Fort Mitchell, Kentucky, the home of, of John Hiltz, who's number two in the Blue Angels. So we've got a lot of hometown folks. Third down, we I should say after that, we got uh, uh, Jarvis Trotter and then Master Sergeant Terrence Murphy. Watch them as they put on the brakes, bring it in for tiptoe landings with the kind of winds, Danny Clisham, that are just perfect for parachuting. Not too slow, nothing over 20 some miles an hour where they go backwards and lose control. They've got just what they need and they're on the ground. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for the wings of blue. Let them hear it all the way up and down the line. And they all will be graduating this year. Each yeah. and every one of the team members, we were so happy to hear that. What a group of enthusiastic men.